Downhill hurts. Welcome to Deviso Training. I'm Andrew. Today I'm going to talk to you about running downhill. The techniques that you can use to save energy and run down more smoothly and ultimately faster. Now, the main difference between uphill running and downhill running is that when you run uphill, you're fighting against gravity. When you go downhill, you're fighting against gravity. Hang on, what? No, actually, of course, they are very different. When you go uphill, you are trying to escape gravity. You are accelerating constantly against gravity to get up the hill. When you go downhill, gravity is trying to make you go faster and you're trying to decelerate all the time to, to stay in control. So you're working against gravity, but it's a completely opposite effect on your muscles. Now, let's just take a minute to understand how muscles work. When you go uphill and you land in this position and you need to lift your body to push you up the hill, these muscles, your quads, need to contract to pull this lever straight and push you up the hill like that. But when you go downhill, you're not using this muscle to lift yourself up. You're using this muscle to stop yourself collapsing because gravity is the moment you land, your knee bends and your body wants to drop down into your ankles and you would actually just collapse on your backside if you didn't tense this muscle very, very quickly and stop that collapse. So this muscle is now working and trying to contract, but it's being stretched because of this motion. As, you, as your knee is bending, it is stretching and it's trying to contract. So it's working against itself in a way. And what happens to the micro fibers is that they become torn and you pick up little tears, hundreds of little tears all the time when you're running downhill like that. And that's why your legs hurt so much after a long fast descent and that is why running hard downhill very often takes more out of you than running uphill. Now this looks like a good hill to practice some technique but before we do that let's just talk about a couple of things. When you run downhill very often especially in a race we think of it as an opportunity for a rest because we think it's easy. But first, of course it's not easy and it really does quite a lot of damage. So it's very important on the downhills to concentrate and pay as much attention to your technique and your form as you do anywhere else or any other part of the run. Okay, that's the first thing. The second thing is, when we know we're going to race on a course with a lot of hills, we very often go out and train specifically for it by doing, by doing lots of uphill training. And we do hill sprints and repeats. And we don't do downhill repeats, and we should, because that is just as important as the uphill. Again, it's the downhill that's going to take it out of you, and the second half of the race, that's where you're going to start to suffer because of the damage you did on the downhills. So, what we want to do is we want to harness the power of gravity and try and use it to our advantage as much as possible. It is, after all, trying to pull us in the direction that we actually want to go. So if we can run with a technique that controls that pull of gravity as much as you can without using a lot of energy or without damaging your muscles, that would be ideal. So there are things to bear in mind. You want to keep your cadence high because a high cadence forces you to have a shorter stride length and when you have a shorter stride length the impact isn't as bad and so you're not doing that much damage every time you break. Right, the next thing is body position. Body position is very important. Obviously you can't lean forward because that's just going to accelerate you more down the hill and you're trying to keep that under control. So we tend instinctively to lean back and leaning back just increases the jarring effect because your foot is then landing further in front of you. You're getting more of an accentuated heel strike and very often your leg will be, your knee will be fully extended when you, when you hit the ground. So ideally you want your body to be as upright as possible. You'll, you'll figure that out with practice because it will feel comfortable. And then the last thing is your arms. Your arms still need to be bent at 90 degrees and you remember that you're using them for balance and your balance this, at this 
when you're running downhill is more of a backwards and forwards balance than a, than a lateral balance. And so you want to have them out slightly sideways and slightly back. Now with practice you'll find that on a downhill that isn't too steep you can run the way you would normally run and you can run quite fast. So you, it can be quite an advantage to be a really quick downhill runner. Now this is a steep hill so we really need to be on top of our technique to run down here. So the things that we're going to need to concentrate on are stride length, not to overstride and have that extra impact. So cadence, keeping the cadence high, short, quick steps. Knee lift, you don't need a knee lift. The ground is dro dropping away from you in front of you. So all you need to do is get your knee to go forward. You don't have to lift your knee up. So you keep a, no, a low knee lift. And if you keep your hips forward and your body upright, which we spoke about before, that will help you to just put your feet out in front of you and not have an accentuated heel lift knee lift <laughs> and have a short stride. Land on your heels and just roll across your feet because landing on your heels that's when your braking effect will start. Just make sure your knees are still bent. Don't lock your knees out in front of you. That would be the worst thing to do. And the last thing is as you're running down the hill keep your elbows a little further back than normal. So if you think about your hand being by your hips instead of running like this you're now running like this. That just keeps you upright and keeps, your, keeps you centered through your center of gravity. Thank you for watching. If you think it helped you, press like. If you want to see more, subscribe. If you want to ask me anything, send me an email. Here's my email address, as always. Love hearing from you. If you need any personal help or coaching tips, drop me a line.